that Middle Eastern oil money is just too much to look away from because Tony Stewart's SRX series is reportedly in conversations with both Saudi Arabia and Qatar to host an SRX race later this season. Sorry, Haley Deegan. This was kind of rumored at the end of the SRX season as it started to wind down this year that they could possibly be headed overseas and obviously the Middle East made a ton of sense because it's a place that continues to want to bring over Western sports and have a bit of a show over there. The question is like where would they even race at if they did end up in either Saudi Arabia or in Qatar? Well, after Tony Stewart gets done counting that sweet but very dirty PIF money, if they end up going to Saudi Arabia, there is really not a lot of choices out there in terms of where they could possibly be going. Obviously, there's no ovals, right? So kind of have to take ovals out of the question. There's a camel oval for camels that are going to race camels in Qatar. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be suitable for a stock car to go around. Obviously, there's both an F1 circuit in Qatar and there's one in Saudi Arabia at the Jeddah circuit where Formula 1 races at. Watching a stock car go around that racetrack would be absolutely wild, but I don't think that that track is big enough to host only 12 cars. That's going to look very weird, especially for stock cars, and I'm not sure if that's going to work. Uh, it would be interesting, but I'm not sure. Obviously, they could build a dirt oval if they wanted to, I don't know if the Middle Eastern people have ever seen a race on dirt, but here's your opportunity to do that. Imagine just like they build an oval, all of a sudden they're having like a million dollar sprint car race and they're like shipping everybody from the States and Australia over. That'd be crazy. Uh, side note there, but they could do that or they could just go all NASCAR at the LA Coliseum and just pave a short oval somewhere, build some stands around it and just have this whole full on event. And that seems like it might be the best possibility, at least... Uh, thinking out loud here because I'm not sure where they would go. Bahrain does have a really interesting setup. Obviously, it's not one of the rumor countries. I'm just throwing this out there because I'd like to see it happen. But Bahrain does have oval turns at the end of it straightaway. So you go down to what would be Formula One turn one, uh, and then you can loop around, come back down that backstretch, and then there's also another oval turn down at the other end. Obviously, SRX would run or want to run it counterclockwise, not uh, clockwise, but. That is a possibility. They're not going to end up there. So the question now is like, why would SRX go there? So obviously SRX moved from CBS to ESPN this year, and they moved from Saturday nights to Thursday nights. And the ratings were uh, way off from what they were last season on CBS, which is to be expected, right? It's a network on CBS. You're on cable on ESPN. Thursday night's different than a Saturday night, although Saturday nights are historically bad for ratings. Uh, but, you know, it was down. Now, when it comes to the amount of revenue, obviously we're not privy to that, but I'm just assuming that it probably came with a bit of a discount as well. And then when you throw in that the TV money possibly was down and then sponsorship also is going to want a cheaper rate because they're not seeing as many eyeballs, uh, you know, SRX is probably taking in less money. And this is all me just thinking out loud here. I don't have, obviously, their books to look at. And if that money is down, they did end up wrecking a lot of cars this year. Hence why Paul Tracy was parked, because it's like, dude, you're a financial liability to us at this point. SRX would love to have a little bit of influx of cash. And whether that's, you know, oil money cash or from wherever, money's money, right? And I don't think Tony Stewart's going to stand uh, or let sport washing stand in the way of him keeping his series alive or at least, you know, having some money in the reserves for something to happen. They could bring a Paul Tracy back the goon squad here to, to wreck some cars. But at the end of the day, SRX is looking at the Middle East. And part of me thinks that makes a ton of sense. And I think it's something, especially if they go Saudi Arabia and the PIF fund, there's, it, it re-sparked this thought I had been having for a while about what the future of PIF could be in America. And I will make a further video on this explaining it. But for now, it looks like SRX is heading over to the Middle East. Uh, whether people like it or not, but it looks like it's going to happen this year. Obviously, probably going to be late this year in either November or December, so you'll have maybe something to watch. Whether that's on ESPN, I don't know why necessarily it would be because ESPN is going to have Thursday night college football. They obviously have their Saturdays packed out, Mondays taken with um, Monday night football. So, you know, potentially they could do this on an ESPN 2 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think that it's something that we could possibly be seeing and obviously a night race at 9 p.m. East Coast time is well into the evening morning uh, in the Middle East, so that's not going to work there. It'll be interesting to see what time they possibly put this at if it does happen and if it's even on ESPN either, right? So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard and Instagram, Twitter, and threads at BreakHardBlog.